So here we go. We're getting ready on the Jagged Project Part 2. So the tentative plan is to hike up to Needleton and continue on to Ruby Creek and then hike up Rudy, Ruby Creek and then climb Pigeon first, go over Ruby No Name Pass, climb Jagged, and then continue to points beyond like Vestal and Arrow and a bunch of others. While puzzling over how to connect the Pigeon group with the Vestal group, I came on this website caltopo.com and there I discovered the Kodiak High Route that goes directly from Jagged Peak area over to the Vestal group. So that was our plan, was to uh, connect Pigeon group with the Vestal group. Crossing the mighty Animus. Sure. Well, I think they're like summer homes or something. Probably no one there now. It's kind of nice without the train running to not get the traffic through here, right? Yeah. Train's right over there. Well, I think this Jeep has seen better days. Wow. There's a rusted rail car. After a brutal hike, climb about 2,000 feet elevation. And now we just crossed the north side of North Pigeon Creek. It's about uh, 13 miles we hiked today. The last two miles or so is pretty brutal. Straight uphill almost. Paul continued on about another 100 vertical feet up. He found another flat spot. Yeah, it's been got... raining off and on all night. It's raining right now. I'm not enthusiastic about getting out of the tent. We come about an hour and a half from our campsite. We're going to look at the words from Mr. Roach, see what he has to say. We need to cross down there, which Paul's doing right now, and then uh, we'll traverse around around the, the lake, north side of the lake, north side of Ruby Lake, and then continue up into this gap. You think there's trout in this lake? I don't see any. Oh yeah? yeah? There's a big trout right there. Everybody that gets into trout fishing, they're almost 100%. If they're into it, catch and release. They never keep them. The avalanche fields from last year. Way down there you can see Ruby Lake, where we were about an hour ago. Just came through some nasty willows. Looks like we have to do it again. You don't think there's somebody up on Pigeon now? Yeah, it could be, but I think, you know, we've been down there a long time. I might have thought they were. Don't fall, I got you on video. <laughs> Fresh snow from last night. We're on top of Pigeon. I did it. <laughs> With a little help from my friend. Watch your step. <laughs> Last time I just ran over there, but yeah. <laughs> I've done it before. I'm not gonna do it this time. Now can we see jagged? Oh yeah, it's bigger than life right there, yep. man. There's yeah. Jagged right there. Well, we finished climbing pigeon today. We came back down and set up our campsite down in this meadow at 11,600 feet. This one's marching right up. He's like, I'll take you on. You want to take me on? Are you going to like surround me? And then oh, stab me with your horns? We don't want you here. There's the baby. Yeah. What are y'all doing over here? Are you used to people feeding you or something or what? Three more, so this is the 
Oh, he's over there. He's snooping in my food. Hey, I haven't finished eating my food yet. It's not for you. They just think everything's for them. They're looking for stuff. And they're not shy about it. So there's the three babies. Four babies. Oh, here they come. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. There's Jagged. Or Ruby, no name, pass. Pigeon is to the right, turret to the left. Coming down off no name, Ruby Pass. Got our sweet campsite at the little lake just below Jagged Pass. Tomorrow we'll make an attempt at Jagged. Only took us about six hours to get here from our camp below Pigeon. To look at the beautiful moon as the sun is rising the opposite direction. Just starting to illuminate the mountains. Here goes nothing. We're gonna hump up to Jagged Pass up there and then see what Jagged looks like. If I'd have known what that looked like, we could have done, uh, the anchor would have been extreme. I would have needed probably maybe more webbing than I had, but you know, it's doable. That's Leviathan Lake. Yeah. That's another one of those gems. They're saving for us all the trout and everything for when we get yeah. to be too old to climb the mountains. Yeah, we'll just be coming up here. Crazy. But there's Jagged and it's all its glory right up there. Good shot. And then we climb up where that crack is. This is our campsite at lake number three after Jagged Pass. This morning we climbed Jagged. We're calling it Jagged even though we were on a, the wrong summit. We were, Paul had 13,822 on his altimeter. And Jagged is 13,824. Day five. Today we're going to do Trinity and I think East Trinity. A couple guys just walked up here to the crest. One of them's got a lot of photography gear. The other one's bow hunting for mule deer. Although I told him we didn't see any trace. I think he's too high for mule deer. Looking at East Trinity, Main Trinity, in West Trinity. Looking down on Balsam Lake down there, that's where we came from this morning. But we were up there. Hey, if you look, if it was the one, the furthest, and I think it might have been the major biggest point to the right, if you look at it from here, it looks like the most difficult because it's kind of vertical toward the top. The top looks almost like a giant block. You see what I mean? Yeah. I think that's it I, because the other ones, see, and remember how we, how we had to go over a bump? There were three bumps. We had to go over the middle one. Is that the Wham Ridge we're, we're looking at? Yeah. The one that kind of bends in. Man, it gets steep toward the top, doesn't it? 
Looking over this way, you can see Jagged. It's yeah, almost jagged. down below the skyline yeah. now. And then down there is Balsam Lake, which is a worthy destination. Yeah, it is. So we just retrieved our packs after climbing Trinity. Worked our butts off to get up to the Vestal Trinity Pass. Now we got this steep thing to get down and try and make it over to Vesta Lake over there. Well, it's Saturday morning, the 5th of September. I think uh, Paul and I are going to do the Wham Ridge this morning. There's a set of climbers. Looks like about six. Six of them. Go up the Wham Ridge. Top of Vestal. Wham Ridge is done. You see the lake we camped at two nights ago? Two nights ago? Like the oh, night before last? I don't think we can. No did. way. That ridge is gonna. But look over there. Jagged. What's that? What's that lake? Oh, uh, well, I think did we I think that's the one we camped at. Yeah. Yep. I think that's it. Yeah. Right down there. <laughs> There's Arrow, the mountain that Paul wouldn't let me climb. <laughs> I would do this again, would you? Yeah, probably with more ropes. <laughs> but I, I'm an old man now, I can't do that. <clears throat> Although I ran a 315 marathon when I was over 60. Ran Boston four times. I did a 2912 uh, <clears throat> incline at 61. You probably, have you beat that? In my, I, I did a 28. <laughs> is, that, is that what you did? Oh, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me a bit. I'd be happy to be that close to you. But now I'm around 34. Huh? I'm around 34 now. Yeah. Here comes Jenny. Hey, do you know why you Tatum? Rock! Campsite on the Colorado Trail by Elk Creek. We just passed three major avalanche debris fields. The last two were marked with tape, but not always that accurately. So we got about a mile down to the Animus River, then we hike out, gain about 1,500 feet tomorrow to get back up to our car at Lake Molas. There's the mighty animus in the train track, the train that's not running. Somebody's here! <laughs> There's the mighty animus. Doesn't look too, uh, navigable with the raft right now. So it's just over two miles. I got two and a half. I got 2.25 now. Okay. Couple Colorado trail through hikers up there. They said they're gonna take a rest break in Silverton because the weather coming up. They passed me on the uphill. <laughs> 